This is the new Top Scan by TopDon. They just sent this little Bluetooth code reader diagnostic tool to me for a quick little review and unboxing. So let's open it up and take a look. Hey, what's up YouTube? Dan the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. This company Top Don just sent me their Top Scan little Bluetooth code reader scan tool that we're gonna plug into a 2018 Toyota Highlander and see if we have any fault codes or anything like that. Now we don't have any check engine lights out on the dash, so I don't think there are any faults in this vehicle, but we'll find out. We'll get this hooked up and see what it can do. Now this will do more than just a little code reader dongle. I've, I've got several of these that you just pair these to your phone. This really will only read codes and erase codes. This scan tool from Top Don is an actual scan tool. This will do even some bi-directional controls. I mean, really most of the reviews that I've looked at say this is extremely powerful for the size and for the price. But let's get this opened up. Now it comes with some instructions here too, just a small little quick user guide. We need to download and install the app, register, log in, add the VCI, or scan the QR code on the product, which is this right here, and then download the diagnostic software for your make. Plug it in, turn the ignition on, connect via Bluetooth, and then it should be ready to use. This comes with one year of free software updates. After that, I think you can pay per year. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this into the vehicle on the Toyota. It's just right down here to the left. All right, there it beeped, and then let's turn the vehicle on. All right, so you just need to make sure that you have the little green light here on the top right. That's letting you know that you are connected. And you can see that I've already got Toyota installed. And so we're gonna do the automatic selection and just hit read VIN down there in the bottom right. Okay, and I'll blur that out, but there's our VIN. A Highlander Hybrid 2018. Let's just hit okay. So diagnostic function, let's hit this left side here. All of these items on here. So what we'll do, Let's just select engine next. Okay. So here's, we're in the engine and ECT module so we can read codes. And here we shouldn't have any codes which says no fault codes detected. Hit okay. Let's hit live data. All right, so there you go. It's showing the calculated load, vehicle load, mass airflow sensor. All right now the gas engine is off and it's just running on battery, but it's showing the intake air temperature, ambient temperature, coolant temp, all these things on here as we just kind of scroll down. Battery voltage, pretty cool. A lot of good information on there. Again, because the engine is not really running right now, even though the car is on, a lot of these things are not gonna have anything going on, but let's go ahead and and go back. Let's see what kind of active tests we have. Okay, so here in the active test for the engine, you know, look, I can control the electric cooling fan. Now I have my AC on, so I'm gonna turn that off so it's a little bit quieter. There we go. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and control the electric cooling fan. Let's push that button. It's saying this test activates the electric cooling fan on or off. Operate with the ignition on, engine off, shift selector into park. And then it's saying on is on, off is off. So let's hit okay. Let's hit all data. All right, now listen carefully. I'm gonna hit on. Okay, I could hear it come on. I don't know if you did. Let's hit off. All right, it worked. That is really cool. So we were able to turn the cooling fan on and off. Lots of other things on here as well. That's pretty amazing. Fuel pump speed, fuel pump duty. You know, I don't wanna mess with any of that. Everything's working great, so pretty neat. Let's see what other special functions we have here. Learning value reset. Use this function to reset all learned values related to engine operation. Well, we don't wanna change that either, so I'm just gonna back out of here. Let's go back. Here it's showing us all of the other modules. I'm just gonna hit auto scan and we're gonna go through and scan every module. So hit that bottom left button right there. Now it says scanning, no DTCs, all the way down. Wow, it's going pretty quick. I'm not speeding this up. This is actually going uh, a lot quicker. Now we do have a fault here in the ABS, VSC and track. Some of these things you'll see that it says does not exist like the advanced parking guidance and the panoramic view monitor. We have an air conditioner fault as well, and a main body fault, or two of them. This is a lot quicker than some of the other scan tools I've used. Okay, so here it jumps the codes with the fault to the very top of the list here after scanning, which is pretty cool. So we have an ABS, VSC, and track fault. So let's 
click on that one here first and it says this ECU controls analog brake system, vehicle stability control brake system that controls the safety performance of the car. Next, let's hit OK. Let's read the code that it has. C1300 skid control ECU malfunction. Now, if we look this up, oh, see, we can just hit it and it goes to Google and it's saying C1300, meaning and how to test. And it's also, I guess, a model of a uh, hot water dispenser system. Okay, so we're back here. Now, before I erase these codes, let's take a look at the rest of them here. So we have the air conditioner fault here and let's hit next. Okay, read that code. So air inlet damper control servo motor, which is a B1442. And then our main body, we have two faults, it says here. B1206 and driver's door motor ECU communication stop. Now that I think about it, I had this driver's door panel off way back when, but when I put in, uh, I replaced the factory speakers because one of them had a rattle. I'm wondering if that is when the fault was created, when I disconnected the, you know, the master power windows switch. That could have been when I did that. So probably not a big deal to go ahead and erase these. And I don't know what the other one is, the ABS. I don't know why we're, why we experienced that, but um, so we're going to just erase these now. So where it says clear DTCs, let's just hit that. And it says it's erasing first one and erasing. There we go. Now, some scan tools will rescan as soon as you erase. So let's go ahead and just do that again. I'm just going to hit auto scan. Now I'll fast forward this one so you guys don't have to sit through it again, but I'm really curious to see if we're going to end up with a DTC that comes right back on any of those, indicating that we might have an issue. No DTCs in any module now. So completely cleared everything and nothing came back, which is awesome. So now I'm gonna exit out of this system. We do wanna exit system scan, hit confirm. All right, so now we're back on the main page here. So we can go into I am readiness and let's just hit this left icon. I'm not sure which and which, well, okay. So this driving cycle is what we wanna hit. And now this is what I expected. It's showing us fail. The reason is this vehicle, I just cleared all the codes. So we have not completed the driving cycle, a full drive cycle. It's gonna take a little bit of driving to do that. So it's saying catalyst monitoring, EVAP system, O2 sensor, monitoring EGR system. Those are not complete yet. If we go back here, hit since DTC's cleared, it's saying pass. So this is what we would have seen had we not cleared everything. And that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that this vehicle, everything's going to clear as soon as we complete that driving cycle. Let's exit out of that. Now my oil is not saying that it's due, but if we needed to, you can hit the oil and let's hit Toyota. Here, so it's saying manual oil reset. So here's how you would do that. I hope this doesn't reset it. So this is actually telling you the way that you can manually reset the oil light. Got two different options, one with a monochrome display and one with a color display. So it tells you different ways to do it. Now here's the other one. It looks like you can just hit engine and ECT. The selected function is not supported. So this does not do oil reset, but it tells you exactly how to do it, which is pretty cool. To home. Now it's giving me a little buzz here when we go back. It buzzes in the vehicle and it says to remember to remove this uh, from your OBD2 scanner. So it's kind of a nice little feature as well. A lot of times we'll forget those little dongles or leave them plugged in and then they'll drain the battery. Uh, I've done that before. I just had a video on a parasitic draw where that happened. Let's take a look at the rest of the maintenance items in here. So you can do the oil reset, which we learned that we would have to manually do it. The throttle, it will do a relearn. We don't have an electronic parking brake in this vehicle, but it'll also do a st steering angle sensor reset, ABS bleed, diesel particulate filter, battery ma uh, maintenance or reset, and the airbag. So pretty cool. This looks like we have the light version. And then down here, you can see we have the DTC repair guide where you can enter in a code. For example, we'll just say P0420. That's a pretty common catalytic converter code. Catalyst system below threshold bank one. Fixes, it's telling us what, you know, replace the catalytic converter, repair the wire harness, oxygen sensor, exhaust leak, replace or reprogram the PCM. So that's pretty neat. It's got a little lookup for you in case you see a code that it doesn't tell you what it is. Technical service bulletins as well. So here you can enter in your vehicle's information and it will pull up any TSBs that are active for it.
Now, if you swipe over here, it also does a vehicle performance. So this is basically giving you the option to do like a zero to 60 test. It'll tell you your quarter mile time. Pretty neat if you're into that. Now, by the way, this software that I'm using on the phone is called Top Guru. I had to download Test Flight in order to get this, this software, which I searched for Top Scan in the App Store and I didn't find it. So this is the one that I ended up with and it looks like it's working just fine with this, uh, with this dongle. So I believe that I got the right one. Uh, if I'm wrong, you guys can let me know in the comments, but everything else looks pretty cool and it's it's neat that we've got these added functions and those bi-directional controls. Well, that's pretty much it. That's about all I wanted to show for today. A powerful little scan tool for what it is. I mean, for the price, this is very inexpensive and you can do a lot of things to diagnose your car or fix anything. And that's pretty neat that you're able just to clear even those other fault codes, things that I didn't even know about, but it's a basically clean slate now. And if any of those things come back, we can maybe further diagnose. But I think for one thing I think that that door switch and the motor thing was probably when I took that off and maybe that uh, actuator door for the AC was just a fluke thing uh, you know we'll, we'll see if that comes back AC works fine it seems to shift between all the different zones without any issues uh, as far as the ABS VSC track one same thing it could have just been a little temporary short in something if something got wet you know speed sensor or something underneath who knows what may have caused that but it uh, doesn't look like it's uh, it wasn't really causing any problems, no check engine lights. Definitely wasn't affecting the vehicle's performance or drivability or anything like that. So uh, I'll just take a look and maybe do another scan with this in a few weeks or a few months from now and see if any of those codes have come back. But this guy right here, I think this is just going to ride with me in pretty much every vehicle that I'm in or anywhere that I go. It's just so small and compact. And of course, I've always got my phone with me. So, you know, even if you're just with some friends and somebody's got, ha having some car troubles, if you've got this, you can at least point them in the right direction and or help them figure out what might be going on with their vehicle. Even if you're a mechanic and you've got a really nice high-end scan tool, you don't necessarily always want to take that on the road or even leave that in your car because it's, you know, it's expensive. You know, your car can get broken into, that can get stolen or or lost. Something like this is so inexpensive, you can afford just to leave this in the car and carry it with you at all times. I definitely would recommend you pick this up. Now, this one is the Top Scan Lite, and I think for what it does, I mean, it, it's pretty dang powerful. Very happy that Top Don sent this to me. I appreciate it, and uh, pretty impressed that we're able to even do the bi-directional controls, turn on that cooling fan. So many other things you could do as well. I'm not going to do every single function. This video would be longer than it already is, but I hope you guys like the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind that does help me out i'll get a link in the description where you can pick up this exact same tool as well thanks so much for watching and good luck <music>